Tuscan style rain barrel purchased from Home Depot. That's our gutter by Rain Saver Gutter Systems, the Florida Keys. That's our downspout and where the barrel is going to go there for. There's black dirt there, not a stable enough basis for the rain barrel. Uh, Victor's in our way, so we got to take it out of the way. We're going to swing our shovel. I never did find that nail. Okay, I'm going to truck that black dirt on out of there. I'm going to replace it with something stable enough because our gutter pipe it's going to go down through a precisely cut hole in the top of our rain barrel. The rain barrel must not move a millimeter. I had to find somewhere to put this dirt. I found a low spot in our dark next to our starfruit. That's a bag of leveling sand. Horse leveling sand. The deep hole is a low spot to the side of where the barrel's gonna go. Give a place uh, for the water to drain. The tree roots grow in. Tree roots that would mess up the level of our rain barrel. Move it sideways. They have a low spot to go and attack that water. Leveling sand is stamped down with the feet and then watered into place. And then it just doesn't move. Finished off with gravel from the driveway and a 20 inch paving stone. Looks so good, I almost don't want to put anything there. Now the rain barrel's where it needs to be, but the gutter pipe is not yet down through the top of the barrel. And with a razor knife, we cut the hole and just make it happen. But it's not high enough. There we go. Column blocks giving it some elevation and a reason to flow downward. You give it some water pressure to make it flow through the soaker hoses or whatever we'll have in place to water our plants. And just make that Tuscan rain barrel soar into the air one story at a time with the column blocks, eight inches tall. And I was able to use four of them to get that rain barrel to the maximum height. Now the water has a reason to flow. And a rain barrel sits ready to collect rainwater, superior water for watering plants, or a way to flush the toilet if the utilities go out in a disaster. That's my book, The Non-Event Principle. I am DC Agar. That's a reason why you might need a rain barrel soon. I'm following current events on a Facebook page I started.